go ahead and roll insight. Howdy folks, I'm Dabas Volt, and welcome to Rolling Insight, the Dungeons & Dragons series where I give you some insight on topics for the world's greatest role-playing game. Today we're covering something requested by y'all in the comments, thanks to... Uh, uh, sharts? As... Hearts? A sharts? I... I I'm, I'm sorry. You know what? Fuck it. We're just gonna go with this pronunciation. Thank you to a sharts in the comments for the suggestion. I sure hope the video helps you out, cause my pronunciation of your name won't... I'm sorry. Anyways, today we're covering DMPCs, or Dungeon Master Player Characters. So, what is a DMPC? Well, a DMPC is an NPC who follows the party, but also has a full character sheet and flushed out backstory and narrative branch associated with them, rather than just some basic stats like any other creature in D&D. These NPCs have all the abilities and sometimes more than the members of the party have. DMPCs are usually run by railroad heavy DMs to ensure the party goes in the direction the DM wants them to go in. They're always for the goals of the DM and pointing the party in the quote unquote right direction, but they also tend to hog the spotlight and make the narrative about themselves assisting the party rather than the triumphs of the party as a whole. Essentially, it's the DM granting main character status to an NPC that you have to be friendly to or the DM gets upset and starts throwing beholders at you. In regards to a shard's comment, again, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing, I don't know. I'm not sure there's a truly good way to have a DMPC in the campaign, as even the term DMPC is demonized in most circumstances circles of D&D. Something you can do is simply assign a hired NPC for the party that's either a legit wizard or sorcerer NPC, or knows half the normal spells they would for a caster of the same level as the average level of the party. The f did I just say? Essentially, if your DMPC joins a party of third level adventurers and they themselves are a caster, they would be third level as well. Notice how I said caster and not wizard or sorcerer. You can make it clear what class the DMPC is, but I find it more fun to just have a shards the arcane. If the players decide to explore the DMPC, let them. Explore their backstory, but only on the prompt of the players. One of the biggest pitfalls of the DMPC is DMs using them to tell a story the players aren't interested in. One written by the DM, for the DM. Going back to the Sandbox vs. Railroad video, it's giving a live book reading to an audience that didn't ask for it. Essentially, only give the DMPC the spotlight when the players thrust it onto them. Don't write for the DMPC unless they're an important story piece. Something like the DMPC is actually the overlord of the BBEG you've been fighting to confront for the last three months, and only at this moment when you are weakest do they let their true colors fly and warn you of your impending doom. Or maybe they're on an internship and need the experience to graduate college with any hopes of getting a real job. Speaking of which, I know I've been on a lot of hiatus lately, and I appreciate y'all's patience with me. Computers breaking and midterms are fugly things to deal with, but I will get through them. I know this is a shorter video, but I hope y'all can understand the struggles. Better and longer videos will be coming. And that about sums it up. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe. And don't forget to ring the notification bell for updates. I post these every Monday, so be sure to tune back in for more videos. If you want to see something covered, leave a comment down below. And I'll see you next time we roll insight. Have a good one. Thank you.